Hi, welcome to Sabulous. We're backstage here of After Hours, and we are going to see what makes After Hours tick. We're going to meet the cast, the crew. Follow me. Oh, I, I like it when you just cut your nails and they're like really sharp. He'll have to call you back. How many times did I tell you not to make long distance phone calls to England? You have things to do. I need a Perrier and a glass of Prosecco. Stat. Oh my goodness. On here with Sabulous and I can't even get any good help. Hmm. Sabulous. Come on, chop chop, get up, get up. Let's go, let's go. So here on After Hours, everyone really wants to hear me well, and that's what Dr. Tom is for. So Dr. Tom, what I think you're so good at is carefully placing the mic. What is your secret? You know, it's a very refined skill, but you know, you're just gonna make sure it's facing out, facing in the right direction. You're always staring at TC, so gotta make sure that that's where it's going. Oh, it's on the right side. Is there anything in particular that I should not wear in terms of microphone placements? Well, I mean, your dresses are always so sophisticated, but beautiful, of course. So sometimes it's a little tricky to find a spot for your microphone, but... It can get a little complicated. Yeah. But you sound good no matter where we put the microphone. Oh, so. I love him. <laughs> We're going to keep him forever. You'll never get fired. I All promise, right. Dr. Tom. I don't know that's a good thing, though. No, it is. I <laughs> promise. I thought I should introduce to you some of the people who make me look so gorgeous and everything run so smoothly. So this is floor director Dave. Hey, Dave. Hello. So um, what I really want to know is, is it really all that applause? Uh, of course, yes. It's an audience of about uh, 150, 200 people. See, what I think is that we have a lot of people and it gets really loud in here. And when you guys do it, it sounds like there's like, you know, not as many people as there really are here. Mm, you well, control the crowd well, so how do you do that? Well, you know, I try to contain all of their enthusiasm so they don't get uh, too crazy. I'm surprised people don't shout out in the middle of it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm surprised at that too, but I guess we're just, uh, we have a very good audience and we're very good at uh, controlling the volume. We would love to see more people down here because we're newly expanding as we're renovating and we can fit just more and more people. Right. And you make that all possible, Floor Director Dave. Well, I just sort of corral them. I'm kind of like the shepherd of the audience, you know, so they don't get lost and they, they know when to applaud. And sometimes I even uh, get the talent to do what they're supposed to do, but. Only sometimes. Only Such a sometimes. people person. Floor director Dave, reaching out to the community. Uh, I just uh, love uh, it. Uh, Thank you. <clears throat> I got a long side burns and my hair slinked back. I'm coming to your town in a pink Cadillac. I'm just a honky tonk man. He's a honky tonk man. What? Wait. Oh, that's terrible. What do you mean it's terrible? Jeff, Jeff's got a better idea. Jeff has a better idea? Yes. Better idea. Oh, come on. Jeff. All right, fine. I know my musical talents aren't good. I'm going to go back and get ready. Can I get ready? I'm going to go get ready to show. You Please do whatever you have to do here. Come on. I'm oh, bad. I have a I lot better nice. idea for a song. Hey, hey, do you know The Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog? Oh, that's that's my nice favorite song. Nice I love that song. It does? Sure. It's all like. Here we go. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Yeah, rainbows are memories, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So maybe been told of them some Jews to remind it. I know they're wrong, wait and see Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lovers, the dreamers, and me So I'm the executive producer on the show, but we also have a director on the show. So this is our director, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hello, Sabrina. So what does it mean to be the director? Um, I uh, push the buttons behind me to uh, switch up the cameras, put what camera needs to be on TV uh, on at the appropriate time. What I think is really cool is that you always press the right button. Are they labeled? Um, no, but we are in fear of being fired, so we do uh, try, try to do our best, you know. I would never fire you, ever, ever, <laughs> ever. Um, it's really cool. Um, we get a lot of really great food down where we are. Do you guys get food up here? Rarely, rarely. 
Are you serious? We yeah, need actually, to change that. I wanted to that. talk to you about that. Yeah. I think we should talk about we that. We're starving. No, I think you guys should get, we get like caviar and champagne and. Well, we're not seeing any of that up here in the booth. And you don't have a dressing room either? No, no. Wow, Sabrina, really reaching out to the people. We need to help them. Please send them food up here in the control room. So, Director Chris, could you tell us, like, what does this button do? Uh, which one? The uh, one that's that one? lit up. Yep, yeah. that switches to camera two. Tell me about some of the other ones. Uh, this one switches to camera one. Uh, it's not labeled, though. No, well, yeah, it says camera one right there. Oh, so, I see. Yep. Oh, oh, from yep. here. Oh, they're, like, then, lit up. Oh, yeah, How they cool have little screens on them. See that? Can tell you, you change what you're it? Go sure, yeah, go for it. No, with what it says? Oh, yeah. Not in show. In oh, I love this. Yep. Technology. Yep. What is this one? Mix? Yep, that'll uh, fade between the two cameras. What does this one do? Um, Can I tell? <laughs> We're here with my fabulous camera lady, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hi, Sabrina. What I love, Jessie, is not only are you a great camera lady, but you're going to have another camera person for us. I know. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting our crew expand. I know. Well, you know, we were running a little short staff. You know, TC's not really paying the bills, so he figured we would just get two for the price of one. Oh, my gosh. I am learning so much about the crew. We need to have a business meeting right after this webisode because I am not liking what I'm hearing. There's no caviar up in the control room. What? You are, what, what's going on? Uh, are, are you I, okay? I think, I think it's time. Oh my goodness. Oh my doctor? goodness. Is there a doctor <gasps> Get her a doctor. Are you having this baby right now? No, I, I think I can see the head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kind of cut, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> 